Hello, I'm Dr. Nies Goda, and welcome back to AZH Wound Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for another edition of the Wound Care Window. I'm here with a very special friend of ours that you're becoming, uh, getting to know very, very well now, my friend Betty. Hello. Betty, again, you are going viral here. The interest <laughs> in your story is, is, is pretty exceptional. We uh, addressed the cyst in a prior episode, and then we did a little leg debridement. Uh -huh. uh, I promised you to bring in an expert. Uh huh. Um, and, and and I'm going to do that today. Oh. I'd like to introduce you to my partner, Dr. Way Siddiqui. Oh. How are you, Betty? Get under there. <laughs> right. Wais, thanks for joining us. So, Wais, I talked to you about uh, Betty and her story, um, and obviously she has a cyst here. I, I know you have a lot of experience with these. I certainly don't. And so I'm I'm curious as to what your evaluation be, your recommendations, and. The question that I raised on a prior episode of the Wound Care Window is, can we do something like a sclerosing uh, regimen or something sure. to manage this? So if you could help us uh, with this, I would appreciate it. So I'm gonna step out and take over waste. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So basically when you find a cystic lesion like this, knowing that there should be a, a good amount of water content, what we need to do is quickly try to ultrasound it, which would allow us to differentiate uh, what kind of lesion this is. Uh, when we ultrasounded this a few minutes ago, this demonstrated to be a cystic structure. Now, as far as sclerosing is concerned, the biggest concern I have is to determine where the cystic structure is actually originating from. Given its, uh, its potential origination site, uh, which would best be determined perhaps by an MRI, uh, we would be able to de uh, determine whether we can uh, sclerose this lesion or not. Sclerosing obviously can be very caustic and you do not want to sclerose a lesion if it's uh, extending from an inappropriate location. If this is a lesion that is uh, extending from the acromioclavicular joint, which is what I suspect, then technically speaking it may be a ganglion cyst which we may be able to potentially sclerose with multiple different sclerosing agents such as sodium morioate or dextrose, etc. So we're going to quickly put an ultrasound probe on this lesion to determine uh, the exact characteristics of this lesion. Keep in mind that this lesion was aspirated last week by Dr. Nisgoda, so uh, let's see what we find under there. It does tend to reaccumulate rather rapidly. So as you can see, this lesion is a biceptated lesion. There's a lot of internal debris. And in my opinion, this debris is more than likely, especially this layering debris right there, is more than likely a little bit of heme product that is consolidated from previous aspiration. This appears somewhat mobilized and may be a, a degenerating uh, previous uh, uh, hematological product as well uh, but this still looks pretty consolidated what we're going to do is we will like to send Betty for an MRI of the right shoulder uh, without contrast to determine um, where this lesion is actually originating from so ways I appreciate your help on, on the evaluation of this uh, very complex issue here but we just looked at the MR we've shared that with uh, the group and uh, what do we want to tell Betty about? What do we? Uh, what's going on here? Basically, Betty, you have severe arthritis of the two bones that partly create your shoulder. Okay, and I, I believe you have seen an orthopedic surgeon before. Mm -hmm. So you have a complete tear of the rotator cuff along with a severely uh, arthritic shoulder. Basically what we can do is continue to aspirate this and suction this fluid when it recurs. What we're going to attempt to do in the future is perhaps inject some medication in there so that the creation of this fluid slows down a bit uh -huh. and which will protract the amount of aspirations you will require hopefully to a point where you may not require any aspiration anymore. Okay. Okay. So I based on the MR, she is a candidate for some sclerosis. She should be. Should be a candidate. Very good. Mm -hmm. Betty, how does that sound? Okay. Fabulous. Better well, than resting my head like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I so, lost my pillow. <laughs> I want to thank Dr. Siddiqui for his involvement in this yes. edition of the Wound Care Window and his help in, in maybe mm -hmm. getting you a little better here. Yes. And I'd also like to thank Betty for sharing her story uh, with all of you. Oh.